Cork, three, ten, Clare, a goal and eight. Uh, after this defeat, now this has serious ramifications for Clare. They now have to beat Derry and Limerick to stay up, which looks pretty tough. Cork now have the best attack in all four of the Allianz Football League divisions with 13 goals and 71 points. That is 110 overall in five games. Big shout out to the GA Statsman, of course, for those stats. Emmett McMahon hit the opener, but four minutes later, Sean Powder struck a goal for Cork. Keelan Sexton responded for Clare, though. He was fell for a penalty on 14 minutes, and he converted it himself. And Clare led by 1-4 to 1-3 at half time. Cork were more ruthless in the second half. Clare hit eight wides in the half, while Cork hit second half goals from Maddie Taylor and another one from Sean Powder to steam home to victory. For Cork, who was impressive, Rory Dean for sure, Chris Oak Jones, Maddie Taylor, obviously Sean Powder with two goals, and Ian Maguire as always. Cork, they're probably my pick to finish third now. I think they've looked pretty good in pretty much every game that they've played. Even the Mies one, look, they still they still racked up 19 points and that their attack was still on fire. Um, unless they can pull off a huge win against Derry, promotion is probably still a little bit out of the way. You know, with two defeats in the division, I don't see you finishing in the top two. But it still looks like maybe next year. When you look up and you see the likes of Donegal coming down, potentially a Monaghan or a Tyrone coming down, a, a dejected Monaghan, a, a de- sorry, a dejected Donegal, you're looking at it and thinking maybe Cork can squeeze into one of those spots. 